Hey, how are you? Hi. Any interest in our uh, resource management software? Yeah. Is there any demos? Like, sorry, demos. Yeah, yeah, yeah I demos. Can, oh, sorry. This is, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, one moment. Just... Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, uh, tell me about yourself. What do you do? Actually, I'm a DP. You're a DP. Like, but oh. like, sometimes you need to do some producer stuff. Producer <laughs> stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you kind of do you ever track gear? Do you need tracking gear? Do you need like planning? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure, sure. Yeah. So, are you using any software right now by chance? No, nah, I just use Google Doc. Google Doc. <laughs> okay, classic. Don't worry, that's cool. Um, so this is our software right here. Um, I can kind of show you what uh, kind of the basics of this software right here. So okay. when you first start from Rayman, you have your equipment database and your just your database in general. So you have your equipment, your contacts, your like our customers, yep. your crew members that you use it with, and, all, and if you have any vehicles, you can also input that mm -hmm. as well. So this is our equipment database right here. Okay. Um, and you can simply, if I just simply click into this equipment, you can then see just the uh, information about this equipment in general. So yeah. you have a database, just any type of financial properties, okay. anything like Got that. It. You have your stock, and also you have your serial number. So if you want to serialize equipment inside uh, for that microphone, you can do that as well. So it's for some kind of rental house. Yeah, rental house or any. If you need to track gear, you can still do it in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but so yeah. How, so it's kind of like can can we share it with the customer that oh, kind of information? No, no, no. So this is more for internal use. Okay, and internal got it, got planning it. more than okay, anything. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you need to know where your gear is at all times, so it's kind of part of tracking, I guess, in a way, is you just simply click on the equipment right here, yep. the checkbox, and open a timeline just like that. And then what would happen is that you get a pop-up of your equipment, and then if you have multiple equip uh, warehouses, then you can it will all break it down. But if you just have one, it'll just show up as one. So I click on that, mm -hmm. and you can see any stock changes, any past projects, present projects, or future projects. Okay. If it's in repair or if it's in sub rented, then you also show as well. Okay, so that's cool. that's one way to kind of keep track of your equipment and where where it is and where it's going. Okay. Yeah. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, Rayman is a project-based software. So every time you create a show or a uh, every time there's a show or a event of any kind, mm -hmm. you create a project. So simply click into the project. Right. And you have your full uh, uh, project planning uh, uh, tabs up there. Okay. So you start with general, your information, client, location, general stuff. You have your time schedule. Um, so like the breakdown of their entire day there. Mm -hmm. You have your equipment here. So you can actually see the equipment here uh, by just clicking on the button and opening a timeline as well. Okay. Another way here is also to also just hover. Hover and you can see and a live feed of where your equipment is as well. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. So if you just, yeah. if you do any crew and transport, you can also plan crew in here as well. Okay. Um, and then if you want, also you can create and uh, edit invoices okay. within the system. <laughs> so okay. there's a lot going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but once you start filling out, I'm just gonna skip to the tracking part, more of the tracking part. Once you kind of fill out the way you want it and, and all this information, like the people who was working those positions that you filled out, then what it'll do, it'll shoot this project, once it's been confirmed, it'll shoot this project to the warehouse. And this is where you're gonna be starting to bring equipment on location, wherever the location is, and then making sure that it's coming back. Okay. So simply just by booking your equipment, just like that, you have your list of your equipment for the project. And what we're gonna do is making sure that we're in the confirmed status, yep. and we're gonna send it to the prep zone, if you have a prep zone. If you don't have a prep zone, you can always just send it to on location directly. Okay. And so you gotta make sure you know where the destination is. Mm -hmm. like so I can simply either scan QR code, RFID. You could do uh, booking, book so book everything all at once, or you can simply move it one by one, just like that. Okay. So once I book everything over to the one side, you'll see that my status of the project has changed to on location. Yep. And that, that's how you make sure you keep track of all equipment is moved from the warehouse to on location. Mm -hmm. If there's one equipment left on location, it will not change the status. Oh, okay. okay? Uh, sorry, if we have one equipment in the warehouse, it will not change to on location. Got it, got it. Yeah. So that's how you kind of keep track of everything. And I'm gonna just change this to on. Um, So now once we're on location, you can see this is on location, mm -hmm. I can then book it back to the warehouse 
by the exact same process as before. Scanning, RFID, do everything, or you can just manually move it up like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we will create maybe like QR code yeah. e with every single stuff. Yeah. Okay, you will generate yes. QR code. Okay. You can yeah, if you don't have a QR code, that's okay. We'll generate it for you. Okay, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I basically just move over there, just like that. Status is now returned. Your project has been completed. Yeah, perfect. So you're making sure everything <laughs> is there. Yeah. And um, I can show you the QR codes here. So if you just click into the equipment, we're going to find an equipment that has serial numbers. Here. That. There is the overall QR code here, right here. And then you have the serialized equipment QR code. So each of them are gonna have their, a, a unique serial number mm -hmm. and also a, a unique QR code. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's a web-based software. That's correct. Yeah. So no so any local. No right? local, yeah, cloud-based okay. AWS. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's a subscription service. Subscription service, yeah. So we are a modular software, modular okay. licensing. So okay. if you don't use a certain part of the software, you don't have to pay for it. Okay, got it. So let's say if you don't use crew scheduling, you basically can omit this from okay. your software. Okay. Yeah. Um, but we're probably looking at... Um, um, $50? <laughs> 30 50 Yeah, 50, yeah it's around $50. very, very reasonable price. So the first one is equipment scheduling. Yep. So this is going to be um, two tiers to it, standard and pro. Mm -hmm. The big difference between the standard and the pro is going to be sub rental requests and also repairing and maintenance. Okay. So most people, excuse me, need that. So most people will go for the pro. Okay. And do you think the pro is necessary for you in this scenario, just like a made up scenario? No. Nah. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. That's okay. Standard. That's totally okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And then if you want to scan QR codes and barcodes and stuff, you will need the you will yep, need the equipment yep. tracking. Yeah. Do you have one warehouse only? How many warehouses do you have? Just one warehouse. Just the one. Yeah, that's okay. It's included. Do you do any cruise scheduling by chance? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. yeah the is essential. <laughs> essential, yeah. So the essential difference is the um, the big difference between these ones is gonna be clock in, clock out, cost management. That's mm -hmm. a pretty big one. Yep. Um, so those are only include the pro. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's the pro. You probably need the pro there if you do do a lot of that stuff there. And then do you do any coding and inventory, coding and invoicing by nah, chance? Not price discount. No. No. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Talk about ninety two dollars a month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very reasonable, I think. For only one power user, you can always add more power users, edit your license anytime as well. So it's very flexible. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks for sharing. Yeah, you're welcome. What's his name? Ka Ka Kalu? Kailu? Kayu. Kayu. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jordan. Nice to yeah, meet you. Nice oh. to meet you. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. you're holding stuff. Can I scan your badge real quick? Sure, Kayu? no problem. Where are you from, Kayu? I'm from Taiwan. 